Welcome back to Norway, here to Havriel Bike Park. It's been the first time we've been here last year for the World Cup and uh, everybody was looking forward to come back here because this bike park is just insane and part of it is the run into the start and we just have to show you that as well, not just the, the actual racetrack. So you can see how the riders get to warm up. Actually today we have Andy Tillman following me. I'll do my best to drop him, but that's probably not going to be possible. Let's go! So uh, I guess the riders are going to enjoy themselves on the way to the start here. Oh boy! I have actually not ridden yet today. I just got out of the bus from a 36 hour drive and I got to stop here and get off this trail because now we go to the start and as usual I'm moaning a little bit because I'm pretty tired from that 36, 36 hour drive but we just had to get to this run in time so you get to see the half yellow world cup track this is the start as you can see and it's closed but we get the VIP treatment so uh, we'll have a look. So this is the start of the racetrack and uh, I actually just got out of the bus so we didn't have time to go have a look at the track so we might have to take it a little easier and I'll just try to remember the track from last year and hope they didn't change it too much. So uh, have fun with this. All right we start with the supercross section right here and this is probably the most fun of the whole track. We got to keep it low because you're gonna fly way too far and as you see they're still working on the course taping here and uh, it's getting a bit narrower here. Pretty hard light conditions and I'm actually already happy that I'm on my 650B wheels. I love them I even so I can take lines that are actually not that smooth but they're okay focus focus. All right, back out in the open, little pedaling section here. Once again, the track is closed. Uh, okay, back into the bike park section. People walking the track already. Official course walk is tomorrow. And uh, I'm having a hard time seeing stuff because of the sun is straight into my face. We have another nice jump coming up. All right. Sweet! As you see, track is closed. And riders have to consider putting a bit more air pressure into their tires because of all these berms here. You have so many G-forces in these turns and uh, you still want to get through those nasty rock sections. There's one coming up right here in these trees here. I'm kind of glad I remember the track a little bit and I'm also glad oh I'm off track. I'm a little to the side. I'm glad this is dry because I would be way too scared going down the, this bit in the wet and you see it is brutally technical and I'm almost stalled here because I don't have my line yet. That gives Andy a bit of a chance of catching up with me. If he's still back there, let's have a look. Now I'll wait. I hope he didn't crash. Because I still need him to edit this video. There should be a follow cam behind me. But uh... Sorry? Okay, so Andy is not showing up anymore. I guess uh, I'll have to go down to the finish and, and hope he shows up down there. And uh, so we'll continue here. As you can see, only half of the course is, is taped. 
and uh, let's restart here back to bike park mode with all super nice turns Yew! okay little pedaling again but not too much because you want to slow down for this turn here another quite critical off camber section coming up Go, yeah, yeah. okay and uh, we're going into light speed mode here wow that was a sketchy one okay off camber high speed turn that's like speedway yeah baby make sure your brakes work here for this turn this is like kamikaze you know kamikaze was just a week ago classic race in mammoth what's the cat doing here okay back into a technical section and i have no whoa, whoa this is a bit tight here okay <coughs> that was a fly in my mouth and into the last quite gnarly rock garden here almost crashed and this is where people will have to be fit because after the whole trek going through such a gnarly we are such a gnarly rock garden it's not gonna be easy and now riders will get to sprint their ass off into the finish i'm not sure if i should jump this as i don't know how many people are still working here okay and then last high speed turns into the finish area sprint all you got and that is it now it is still one of the funnest tracks ever it's got everything in there high speed technical stuff big jumps a lot of fun and it's gonna go twice as fast on sunday live on redbull.com slash bike make sure you come and watch it see you next week